The police swiftly announced an international manhunt as the suspect attempted to flee the country, disguised as someone else. Various measures were taken to prevent the suspect from leaving the nation. However, things did not go as planned. Hello, I'm Rima. Welcome to the True Story Channel, where we dive into real events that show how unpredictable human actions can be. In this video, we'll explore a case where the police had to work tirelessly to capture a criminal. But before we continue, remember, this is a true story, not a film. So don't forget to like, comment, and let's get right into the story. Welcome to the True Story Channel. In Vermont, USA in 1996, a little girl named Mariah Wilson was born to Eric and Karen Wilson. Mariah had a younger brother named Matthew, and they were raised in a warm, loving family. Her mother Karen was a cycling coach, while her father Eric was a former ski athlete. Eric also worked as an instructor at the prestigious Burke Mountain Academy, a world-class boarding school for ski athletes. Mariah's love for sports began at a young age. Though she was passionate about skiing and hoped to follow in her father's footsteps, fate had other plans. At school, the students were required to train hard, and part of their routine included cycling on snowy tracks. As a junior, Mariah often led the pack during these cycling sessions, even outpacing the boys. Her father noticed her love for cycling, but Mariah was still determined to become a skilled skier. Unfortunately, a knee injury during a ski training session with her father crushed her dreams of becoming a professional skier. The injury was severe, requiring months of rehabilitation. This period of limited activity forced her to accept that her skiing aspirations were over. However, she eventually found solace in cycling, a sport that became her refuge. As she recovered, Mariah realized that cycling gave her a sense of peace and confidence, allowing her to move on from skiing. After completing her recovery, Mariah enrolled at Dartmouth College, pursuing an engineering degree. Even while studying, she remained committed to her love for cycling. The sport, which had become a way for her to heal emotionally and physically, helped her find balance in her life. Over time, Mariah began competing in amateur cycling races, and to her surprise, she won. Her victory drew the attention of photographers and cycling enthusiasts alike. One particular photographer was captivated by Mariah's elegance and grace on her bike. He described her as a striking presence, someone who commanded attention with her skill and poise. Mariah's talent continued to shine, and in 2019, she graduated from Dartmouth College with a degree in engineering. She soon secured a job in her field, but cycling remained a constant in her life. After a long day of work, Mariah often confided in her mother, Karen, about her dreams of becoming a professional cyclist. Although Karen was initially concerned about her daughter's past knee injury, Mariah reassured her that cycling had never caused any discomfort. With this reassurance, Karen fully supported her daughter's ambition. The Wilson family became united in their love for cycling, often going on weekend rides together. Eric and Matthew would join in, creating a close-knit group of athletic individuals. A few months later, Mariah entered a prestigious cycling competition, one typically reserved for professional riders. Despite being a newcomer, she pedaled with incredible speed and determination, quickly making a name for herself. Mariah's growing confidence and ambition led her to resign from her engineering job to focus on cycling full-time. Over the next two years, she achieved great success, winning several races and even securing sponsorships. At the age of 25, she was on the rise as a cycling star. Within the cycling community, Mariah was recognized as a talented young athlete with a growing fan base. It wasn't long before she met a 35-year-old man named Colin Strickland, a well-known cyclist whose name dominated several categories in the sport. Colin and Mariah often crossed paths due to their shared sponsorship, and the two developed a close friendship. Their bond grew naturally, as they enjoyed discussing their experiences on and off the racetrack as professional cyclists. The police quickly issued an international manhunt after the suspect tried to flee the country, disguising themselves as someone else. Law enforcement took various measures to prevent the suspect from leaving, but this case unfolded in a way that would challenge the authorities. Hi, I'm Rima. Welcome to the True Story Channel. Human thoughts are unpredictable, and actions can't always be judged by appearances. Someone who seems kind and gentle may hide dark secrets, and vice versa. In this video, we will look at a case where the police worked relentlessly to catch the perpetrator. But before we continue, we want to remind you that the story we share is a true event, not a movie. So don't forget to like, comment, and share. Now let's get into the story. In 1996, a girl named Mariah Wilson was born in Vermont, USA. 
She was the daughter of Eric and Karen Wilson and had a younger brother named Matthew. Raised in a warm family, Mariah was surrounded by athleticism, with her mother being a cycling instructor and her father a former ski athlete who also taught at the prestigious Burke Mountain Academy. From an early age, Mariah showed a deep passion for cycling, often participating in various sports, including mountain biking and skiing. Despite a serious knee injury that crushed her dreams of becoming a professional ski athlete, Mariah focused on cycling, eventually competing in amateur races and winning several events. By 2019, after graduating from Dartmouth College, Mariah began to pursue cycling professionally, winning more competitions and gaining the attention of the cycling community. Among those captivated by her success was fellow cyclist Colin Strickland, a 35-year-old professional cyclist with a well-established name in the sport. Colin and Mariah met through their shared passion for cycling. As they grew closer, Colin was deeply impressed by Mariah's personality, energy, and charm. Their connection quickly became romantic when Mariah visited Colin in Austin, Texas in October 2021. However, the relationship was short-lived, lasting only until November, as Colin preferred a more casual friendship rather than a romantic relationship. Mariah, on the other hand, had developed deeper feelings, leaving her confused by the sudden shift. By December 2021, Mariah moved to California, while Colin rekindled his relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Caitlin Armstrong. Caitlin, a 34-year-old real estate agent and yoga instructor, was eager to rebuild her relationship with Colin. However, despite their reunion, Colin continued to maintain contact with Mariah, leading to jealousy and tension from Caitlin. Caitlin soon learned about Colin's past romantic involvement with Mariah, which triggered several arguments between her and Colin. Furious, Caitlin went as far as blocking Mariah's contact on Colin's phone and demanded that he cut off all communication with her. Though Colin tried to reassure Caitlin by downplaying his relationship with Mariah, he secretly renamed Mariah's contact in his phone to avoid further disputes. Tensions escalated in January 2022 during a cycling event in Arkansas, where both Colin and Mariah were competing. Caitlin, who accompanied Colin to the event, noticed the warm interactions between him and Mariah, which fueled her anger and jealousy even more. By May 2022, Mariah traveled to Austin to participate in another prestigious cycling competition. She stayed with a friend, Caitlin Cash Cassidy, who had become close with Mariah after meeting her during various cycling events. On May 10th, Colin invited Mariah to go swimming and have dinner together, keeping this meeting a secret from Caitlin. They spent the afternoon together, and Colin dropped Mariah off at Cash's house around 8.30 p.m. Shortly after, a black 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee was spotted near Cash's house, suspiciously driving around the area. Inside the Jeep was a mountain bike rack, empty of any bikes. Not long after, Cash returned home and was horrified to discover Mariah's lifeless body in the bathroom, covered in blood. Cash immediately called 911, but despite attempts to revive Mariah with CPR, it was too late. Mariah Wilson, the promising young athlete, had tragically lost her life to gunshot wounds. In shock, Cash could barely respond to the police's questions, still frozen by the horror of what had happened. The investigation quickly began, and authorities turned their attention to uncovering the truth behind this tragic and senseless act. After the police surrounded the residential complex to search for clues about the tragic incident that befell Mariah, they initially found nothing suspicious inside the house. However, they did discover Mariah's expensive bicycle discarded in a nearby bamboo garden, just a short distance from the residence. It appeared that someone had recently dumped the bike, leading investigators to suspect a failed robbery. However, they withheld any conclusions until the investigation was complete. Some officers, however, speculated that Mariah had fallen victim to a premeditated crime. Around the same time, Caitlin showed up at the police station after a warrant was issued for her arrest on charges of theft. The woman had just undergone a Botox procedure for aesthetic purposes, costing between $528 and $650, equivalent to around 8 to 10 million rupiah. Caitlin had been a regular client at a beauty clinic since 2018 for her Botox treatments, but she had failed to pay for the latest procedure. The clinic had made multiple attempts to collect the payment, but Caitlin had consistently ignored them, leading the clinic to press theft charges and report her to the police. That same night, the yoga instructor was interrogated by the Austin police, who questioned her about her activities in the past 24 hours. Caitlin chose to remain silent and refused to answer the officer's questions. 
However, the authorities had already tracked her movements using cell tower data and a vehicle tracking system. They discovered that her vehicle had entered the residential area where Mariah was staying, and CCTV footage confirmed the presence of Caitlin's car. When asked about Mariah's tragic incident, Caitlin claimed ignorance, asserting she had no knowledge of the event and was not involved. She grew visibly angry, especially since the police were associating her with an entirely different case, unrelated to the clinic's claims. As she read her arrest warrant, Caitlin noticed a clerical error in her birth date, leading her to protest that the arrest was invalid. The police admitted their mistake and released her, though she remained a suspect in Mariah's case. The Austin police continued to suspect her involvement in Mariah's death, but they lacked sufficient evidence to press formal charges. Shortly afterward, the police began digging into Caitlin's background. They discovered a love triangle between Caitlin, Mariah, and Colin. They reached out to Caitlin's friends, who confirmed that she had been jealous of Mariah and had even expressed her hatred toward the younger woman. Authorities also contacted Colin, asking about his relationships with both Caitlin and Mariah. Colin admitted that he was in a relationship with Caitlin, but maintained that his relationship with Mariah was purely platonic. He was devastated by Mariah's death, struggling to understand the situation, while also expressing disbelief that Caitlin could be involved in such a heinous act. Mariah's family was heartbroken by the news of her tragic death, which was delivered by her close friend Kay. They immediately flew to Austin to receive the autopsy report and arrange for Mariah's return to Vermont for her burial. The medical examination revealed that Mariah had suffered three fatal gunshot wounds, which had led to her slow and painful demise. The hospital confirmed that she had been deceased for several hours before Kay discovered her body. Kay, who had found Mariah, was overcome with guilt for leaving her alone that night. She explained that she had attended a dinner party hosted by her friends, returning home late, and had not been overly concerned about Mariah. Initially, the police had suspected Kay as the perpetrator, given that she was the first person to discover the victim. However, Kay was quickly cleared of suspicion, as she had a strong alibi that was corroborated by others. Additionally, there was no motive for Kay to harm Mariah. As the investigation progressed, the police turned their attention to the black jeep that had been seen circling the neighborhood. They soon discovered that the vehicle had been sold by Caitlin for an unusually low price, $12,200, approximately 193 million rupiah. Officers attempted to locate Caitlin at her home, but she was nowhere to be found. Her family was uncooperative with the authorities, appearing to conceal Caitlin's whereabouts. The police then issued a public announcement stating that they were conducting a nationwide search for Caitlin. She was officially named as the prime suspect in Mariah's murder. The local press quickly picked up the story, and Caitlin's face was broadcast on television, reported in newspapers, and shared widely on social media. The entire nation was outraged, condemning Caitlin's alleged actions and mourning the senseless loss of such a talented and promising athlete like Mariah. The cycling community in the United States was left heartbroken after losing one of its brightest talents. Soon after, law enforcement learned that Caitlin Armstrong, the main suspect in Mariah's death, had deactivated all her social media accounts and booked a flight from Texas to New York City. Investigators rushed to Austin International Airport to review CCTV footage. The footage revealed that Caitlin arrived at the airport on May 14, 2022, around 3 a.m., where she bought a ticket for a flight to Houston, planning to continue her journey to LaGuardia Airport in New York via a connection in Newark, New Jersey. When the police contacted the airline, they were told that no passenger by the name Caitlin Armstrong was on board. However, they discovered a passenger named Christy Armstrong, a social media influencer known for her motivational content. Police suspected that Caitlin was using her sister Christy's passport to escape, as the two looked remarkably similar, almost like twins. This resemblance allowed Caitlin to board the flight without arousing suspicion. Austin police, in cooperation with the U.S., marshals officially declared Caitlin a suspect in Mariah's murder. Authorities revealed that Caitlin had driven a black Jeep entered the home of her friend and fatally shot Mariah in an apparent fit of jealousy over a love triangle between Caitlin, Mariah, and Colin. As the case gained national attention, law enforcement launched an international manhunt, broadcasting Caitlin's face and identity across the country. On June 15, 2022, police received an anonymous tip that Caitlin was spotted at a campground in New York. Investigators learned that Caitlin's sister, Christy, had lived in that area previously, and they immediately moved in. Despite questioning, Christy claimed she had no knowledge of Caitlin's whereabouts. Meanwhile, a media frenzy ensued, 
drawing attention to Caitlin's father, Mike Armstrong, who insisted that his daughter could never have committed such a crime. I know how she is, and I know what she's capable of, he said. A breakthrough came when investigators discovered that the firearm used in the murder was registered to Colin, Caitlin's former boyfriend. Colin had gifted the gun to Caitlin in January 2022, and it was found in their shared home. With the mounting evidence, the U.S. Marshals offered a substantial reward for any information leading to Caitlin's capture. It wasn't long before they received another tip. Caitlin was hiding in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. During her time in Costa Rica, Caitlin went by several aliases, including B. Martin, Ari Martin, and Liz Martin. She even underwent plastic surgery, changing her nose and cutting and dyeing her hair to disguise herself. Caitlin introduced herself as a yoga instructor, starting a new life in Santa Teresa. She also entered a relationship with a local man named Till Ackerson, who later shared that Caitlin, under the alias Ari, had told him she was dealing with trauma from a past relationship. Law enforcement crafted a clever plan, posting a fake job listing for a yoga instructor in Santa Teresa. When Caitlin applied, undercover U.S. Marshals arranged a meeting with her. The trap was successful and Caitlin was arrested on the spot and deported back to Texas. In July 2022, Caitlin's first court hearing took place, where she was charged with first-degree murder. Throughout the proceedings, Caitlin refused to admit guilt and her family continued to stand by her. However, by October 2022, in a second hearing, the judge found her guilty based on overwhelming evidence. Caitlin Armstrong was sentenced to 99 years in prison for the murder of Mariah. The takeaway. This tragic case teaches us an important lesson. In any relationship, a true partner should never make their significant other feel jealous. Instead, they should make others envious of the love and care they share. Remember to always be kind, love your partner deeply, and never let jealousy cloud your heart.